Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we will learn the combination of positional parameter along with the name parameter. So without wasting time, let's get started. We have a function test here. A test has got total three parameters a, b and c. These a, b and c are the positional parameter. Now consider out of these three parameters, I want to make two parameters as the name parameter. In this case, make sure that all positional parameter must appear before the named parameter. It means if I want to make two parameters as name parameter and one as the positional parameter, then in this case, A must be a positional parameter and remaining two must be a named parameter. Just listen to second example. Let's say I want to make one parameter as a named parameter and two parameters as the positional one. Then the first two must be a positional parameter and the last one that is the C should be a named parameter. Now you might have a requirement that is it possible to make this B as a named parameter and this A and C as the positional parameter? Have you said no, it's not possible. The only thing is you have to change the sequence. You have to make this A and C as the first two parameters and B should be a last parameter. Means any or any case, make sure that you have to specify all your positional parameters first and at the end you have to specify your name parameters. Now you might have a big question, why this rule is there? Answer is very simple. Positional parameters are passed in the sequence that you have specified in the function. That's the reason first parameter goes for first value, second goes for second value and so on. And the remaining parameters are the name parameters that you specify using the name. So, Let's make this B and C as a name parameter. So I have this B and C as a name parameter. And as we know that name parameters are optional, then I should make this B and C as a variable. So if you don't know what is this name parameter and positional parameter, I really recommend you guys to go ahead and watch my videos where I have talked about name parameter and positional parameter in detail. Now, if I want to call this function test, so I need to call in the way that the first value should go for a let's say if i specify 10 this 10 is a value for a and you can see i haven't specified the value for b and c because this b and c are the name parameters and these are purely optional so when i run this program you can see the value for 10 goes for a and b and c will receive the value null which is the default value in this case now let's say i want to specify a value for parameter c then i should write c colon let's say i'm specifying value 40. now the observable thing here is the first parameter that i specify is always the parameter that goes for a let's say you want to say that oh uh, let's say you want to change the sequence that is you want to specify in this way that is the value for c first and the value for a later on so it's not possible as i said you that you must specify the value for positional parameter first and then at the end we have to specify the values for name parameter. So if I run this program, A will receive the value 10 and the value for B is null as usual and C has a value called 14. However, I have option that I can pass the value for B here. Let's say I'm passing value for B as a 5. So it's perfectly fine. In this case, A will receive the value 10, B has got the value 5 and C is the 40 here. Now. You might have a question, can I ignore the value of 10, that is, can I ignore the value of A here? I will say no, it's not possible. If you remember, we have understood that all positional parameters are compulsory. So it's compulsory for me to pass the value for A here. Now let's understand one more example. Let's say in this A, B and C, you want two parameters to be a positional parameter and one should be a name parameter. So as I told you, first two parameter must be a position parameters that is I should keep this a and b as the position one and c is the name parameter. So in order to call this function test, it's compulsory for me to pass the value of a and b. Let's say I'm specifying 10 and 20. So the first value goes for first parameter, second goes for second parameter, which is obviously the rule in case of positional parameter. And as I'm not specifying value for C, that is the C is a named parameter and it's purely optional and I'm taking advantage of that one. When I run the program, you can see A will receive the value 10, B has got the 20 and C is obviously null. And if I want to specify value for C, then I can write C colon and the value for C, let's say 50 here 
and when I rerun the program, you can see A is as usual 10, B has got 20 and C has got the value 50 that I specified. The noticeable thing here is in case of A and B as these are the positional parameters, I don't need to pass name of parameter here. I simply need to pass the values in the same sequence that are specified in the function that is value for A and value for B. And as C is the name parameter, it's compulsory for me to pass the value like this C colon and then the value for C. Now you might have a question, can I change it to like this? Just pass the value for A, then value for C and then value for B. I will say no, you must pass the two values for A and B as these are the positional parameter and these are the compulsory parameter and at the end I should pass the value for C here. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really like the way I'm explaining the concept, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.